content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. Before the 18th century, boxers wore whatever they could find for footwear. Dress shoes, boots, worn out sneakers, cloth. For a sport that focuses on the upper body, how much of an impact can the footwear have anyway? As it turns out, a whole lot, and the boxing shoe actually helped revolutionize footwear for all sports. Original boxing shoes were constructed of genuine leather and featured smooth soles. In fact, the older generation might remember seeing fight footage of boxers stepping into rows and boxes in their respective corners to lessen the slippery bottoms of their soles. But as the sport became more competitive and fighters looked for an edge, boxing moved on from the whatever you could find experiment and in came the modern day boxing shoe. With its creation, boxers would become faster, have better mobility, and be able to maneuver in ways that their previous shoes prevented. In 1916, the first iteration of the modern boxing shoe was invented. The now boxing giant Everlast, through a partnership with sporting goods store owner Jacob Gallom and former heavyweight champion Jack Dempsey, were the first responsible for the transition. Dempsey introduced Gallom to boxing and commissioned custom leather boxing shoes to be made for him in his matches. These leather boxing shoes were to be light, generate traction to prevent slipping, had rubber soles, and provided sufficient ankle support. This was the start of Everlast, and its rise to international popularity. There are still personal preferences for what? Some are cut taller than others for more support and feature textured soles that provide more traction in the ring, while the ones that are cut smaller are mainly designed for more speed and comfortability. Tall boxing shoes can rise as far as 12 inches up the calf. Low top boxing shoes often require the boxers who use them to tape their ankles before the fight. As for the effect it has on their fighting ability, boxers gain a lot of their punching power from the movement and placement of their feet. Throwing an accurate, damaging punch is as much about turning and planting their feet correctly as it is about swinging an arm. Essentially, good footwork helps boxers to transfer power through their legs and hips as well as the upper torso, thereby putting the strength of their entire body into a punch ending in something similar to this. Oh, what a big shot by Lopez! And Comey is on spaghetti legs here in round two! Boxers need footwear that has enough grip on the canvas to dig in and not slip when they're throwing power shots. But they can't be so grippy that they can get stuck in place. They also need to be light enough for them to move around quickly with a full range of motion to work angles and gain an advantage but they also need to be tough enough to protect them from an opponent accidentally or purposely stepping on their foot. Boots tend to have a lot of laces as well, so fighters can control the exact tightness for maximum comfort and utility during a fight. After Everlast's first endeavor into the boxing world, the modern day shoe manufacturers include Adidas, Tidal, and even Nike through a partnership with Michael Jordan. Some brands incorporate mesh into the design to prevent the shoes from becoming heavy with sweat. Again, the same kind of advances every sporting footwear company makes, but boxing was one of the first to do it. Boxing shoes allow the constant footwork and fast mobility that a boxer needs to avoid punches and to strike with a solid base. Without them, boxers would not be able to maneuver as quickly as they do or strike with as much power. They are as much a part of the sweet science as anything. Whether it was in 1916 or 2021, the boxing shoe is the product of years of innovation and a front runner for all of sports. <laughs>